So I know I started, I'm starting this late, but I still wanted to show y'all what I'm doing. Making my Halloween witch face with hot glue, latex, and of course, toilet paper. Toilet paper is so the mask is on. I had to cut it to kind of get it to stick. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble with the spirit gum. Normally I was using the latex, but it seems to be working great. Just the latex. The um, spirit gum, um, it gets really sticky. But let's continue. So now I'm going to use um, latex, skin color. I'm just going to try to um, put it on top like that, just to kind of give it more of a blend in there. So this is the fun part. Let's add toilet paper where all the creases are on the on the scar. So we're just gonna add toilet paper where I added latex just to kind of make it blend in together. Everywhere, the toilet paper, then more latex. Toilet paper, latex. Just in case you forgot, more toilet paper, more latex. What we're doing is just kind of blending everything in, filling in the gaps of where I cut the mask in pieces and I'm kind of gluing it together on my face. And this is where we just let it all dry. If you're patient, use a fan. If you're impatient like I was, use a blow dryer. So we're just gonna let it dry for about 10 minutes. And this is where I just add a little bit of lipstick. I just kinda wanna get a look going. Now it's time for white paint. This is just kind of to give it some dimension, filling in the gaps, um, just kind of blend everything together, playing with the colors. Now it's time to um, line out the creases, give me some dimension to 
put some over my nose, around my cheeks, around my lips. And this is just a black eyeliner I'm playing with. I want to bring the lines all the way down. And this is just no smudge white paint. Just painting in between the black to kind of give it some contour. I'm painting over the latex on my head. Just anywhere where I might have missed the toilet paper and the latex. Any black stripes kind of blending them in so they're not too um, popped out. Here I'm just blending it in with my fingers, just wherever I might have missed or it's too clumpy. Pressing powder, because I'm about to do another layer of color, so I want to make sure it doesn't smear or smudge in too much. Let it dry, and now we're going to go ahead and put yellow, not too much. A little bit on the warts where it looks a little pussy or rotten. Now we're doing the green and that's just in between here and there. I end up doing green and then I come back with my palettes. And I, this did, I didn't show on camera, but I did eyeshadow, black eyeshadow, green eyeshadow, just on top of what I, I had already colored to kind of make the, the colors kind of sit so they're not smeary or they don't rub off. So again, this is not something I included, but just blending it into my neck where it's not too different. And now we're doing some, um, I guess it's an eyeshadow, like a liquid eyeshadow. And then I went ahead and did the black paint with my um, brush, costume paint all around my eyes. And then after I did that, I went with some black eyeshadow and just kind of settled everything in. This is just liquid eyeliner and I'm doing some eyebrows. And I'm just making my lines a little bit more vibrant so they don't fade away too much, giving me some aging looks. And now we're going with some wrinkles. It looks cool once I blend everything all in. It just gives it, again, like some dimension. And this is it. After I put all the eyeshadow, powders, setting spray. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and happy Halloween.
fire bats. <laughs> A dash of nightshade and a few lizards gizzards. Then I'll top it all off with these fresh pumpkin innards. <laughs>